a fun one. I don't know about you, but my kids are out of school. Summer is upon us. I can't believe that it is already the middle of June. What the heck? What the hey? How did we get here? And I am just craving, craving a summer getaway. And last night, actually, I was sitting with my hubs. We were having a little quick dinner out. And we were talking about the fact that two of our three kids are going to be going to camp at the exact same time this summer. And we should take advantage. And based on the number of hotels we looked for that were already booked, I'm guessing that many of you are channeling that exact same idea. So I thought it'd be a fun one to talk today a little bit about that summer packing list. When you are getting out of Dodge and want to pack a suitcase that does all the things for you, I've got some answers on how to make it super, super easy. Those perfect essentials you've got to throw in your bag that will bring you any which way, all the places, all the days. And we're going to start with what I think are some of the more fun and unexpected pieces, especially this little combination I'm wearing right now, which is a graphic tee and a fun skirt. What? How fun is that? Okay, so here's from the start. A graphic tee. Loving a good graphic, especially when it's coming in a tank version, and so are all of you. We are absolutely flying through these, and there's something that I think about the optimism and the really fun kind of summer spirit that these tanks are bringing. I'm wearing this great version from Spiritual Gangster. I feel like a broken record because I talk about this silhouette almost every week, but there's a reason for it. It is such an incredible fit. It is so flattering because it is not so crazy oversized. So I wear my true size in this. I do find that it is a more fitted silhouette. So if you are bustier, I suggest going up a size in this one because of the fit across the bust line. This is our happy tank. I absolutely love this guy in the sunny, sunny yellow. Feels so happy, doesn't it? And optimistic. So now I paired it back to this super fun skirt from Z Supply. Now I popped this on because I wanted you to see that even Shorty McShorterson, like myself, at under 5'4", can rock a maxi skirt. It is all about the styling. So here are a couple tips that I threw on when it came to putting this outfit together. Number one, I did a full tuck. I went for it. I need to show my waist. I need to break up that body so that I don't look kind of short and like, like, truncated, I guess would be maybe the word I'm looking for in my legs. So I put this skirt actually up a little bit higher. I made it a more true high rise. So this is sitting right above my natural waist. And it's easy to do that with this more spocked waistband because you guys know you can adjust it any which way you want. Full tuck in my tank and I didn't go with anything too oversized. Another easy way to do this if you do not love your full tuck idea, this is a fun one. Yep, you know what I'm going to talk about, do your knot, okay? So a little knot here does the same thing, gives you that great waist detail, easy to do, but then you don't have to do the fuss and muss with the tucking. So I'm just going to do a little knot here. Let's see if I can do it. Yep. And you guys can see it has the same exact effect. It just gives me a little bit more length. So if you're looking for a little bit more coverage, maybe want to have that graze over your waist instead of being like hitting under your waist. Um, it's an easy way to do it. And then I just pop it over that waistband. And you guys can see where it's hitting on me here. So, and then of course I have my summer slide, which we're going to talk about in a minute. So easy graphics. It is a staple to put in your suitcase for those getaways because they're great for the beach. They're great with a cutoff. They're easy to pair with a little skirt like casual, wherever you're going, they're a fun piece to put on. So I have on this great little spiritual gangster guy. There are a couple more that I love. I'll grab another spiritual gangster just to show you this Be Happy. I feel like these are kind of sister tanks, but if you are looking for something in a more neutral color, this gray is a great one. Same exact cut. Again, true to size, unless you want a little bit more room in the bust, and then I would go up one. Of course, we know Chaser makes an amazing tank. And so many options here. Now, here's how I think Chaser tanks fit different than Spiritual Gangster. They tend to be a little bit more generous, a little bit more relaxed. I also think just the nature of their fabrics, they really wash things down. So two fun options here. If you like that destination idea, I mean, let's dream about this. Joshua Tree, what a fun trip that would be. I'm going to maybe put that on my list of places to check out. 
Love this little guy, and I think it's a nice one too because this is so easy to wear back to a cutoff and just a little bit maybe more neutral than some of these more saturated colors like this guy. So this is a fun one from Chaser. I love the idea of a graphic that doesn't necessarily have words on it. So this pineapple is really fun. I actually was kind of going back and forth on whether or not I should wear this with this skirt. Maybe I'll give you guys a little peek so you can see what this looks like. Now this Chaser tank is fun because it's a more of a racerback kind of silhouette and has a deeper scoop. So I know for some of us, we'd like that. Um, gives us gives us like a little bit less coverage. You want to open up that neckline a little bit more. I think that's really nice in particular if you have a little bit more curve on top. Or I also, sometimes I like this racer bank silhouette for broad shoulders. I have pretty broad shoulders. So it kind of helps nip things in. So here's that great little tank. So fun in this yummy, yummy blue. And I would say same style tip here. Not this little puppy if you want with this skirt or do a full tuck. I'm wearing a normal tank underneath so you can see where that racer back is hitting. Pop it on with your racer back bra and you're good to go in this yummy saturated blue. Another cute one in a bright color. Ash was showing this in her live the other day. It's from Soul Angeles, Sunkissed. Now this is more of a marigold. So when we think about this guy, I'm going to grab the tank I just threw down versus that spiritual gangster tank. This is more of that, like, I would say a light lemony yellow, right? You can see the difference. Now, how I think these play on different skin tones, this marigold is the yellow that literally everybody can wear. It looks good on everyone, I think, because of the richness of the color. And I'm ooh, so yummy loving all of these fun, kind of what I would consider to be more fall colors that are popping up in summer, like this marigold and that yummy terracotta. So many fun ways to play. So this is another really cute one. Soul Angeles. So I think this Soul Angeles is kind of the happy medium between Chaser and Spiritual Gangster. Little bit more shaped than a Chaser, but not as shaped and fitted as Spiritual Gangster. So it's somewhere in between. But one of the things I love about Soul Angeles is the yummy, yummy fabric. Their quality is impeccable. So cute, so fun, love this guy. And then for a more relaxed silhouette, I have actually two really good options for you. And both of these are kind of fun. They're kind of different ends of the spectrum. So the first is from Let Love. Now I like this guy because it's a cool way to do a graphic without doing really a true graphic. So you've got this great little lightning bolt moment happening with camo in the back. There's those fun autumnal colors we were talking about. Really cute here, and this is definitely, of the group, the most relaxed silhouette. So I find Let Love to run pretty generous. I actually size down in these tanks. So this guy is $68. This is a small, so for reference for size, I'll show you what this looks like, because I've been in a small in every single one of these tanks, so you can kind of see the difference. And I have a big old pile of clothes on the side here for us. So again, let love, guys. And this is a fun one to wear. Again, if you're not looking for like a super iconic symbol and or if you don't want words. Okay, so here you can see on me, this is a small, okay? So it's longer, which is great if you have a long torso or if you'd like to leave your things untucked. This is an easy one. For me, it's just a more relaxed. I love the idea of wearing this back to a cutoff. Now with this skirt, I think what's great about this kind of graphic is that it's not like you're gonna mess up words or make it look goofy. I'd for sure do a little knot on this one. It'd be so darn cute. And that washed down black looks great with this gray from Z Supply, so an easy one to wear. But you guys can see this is more of like a muscle tee kind of silhouette. Definitely more relaxed in the shape, right? Super, super fun. And then, from Suburban Riot, if you want more arm coverage than a tank offers, this Wander Tee is so darn cute. Ugh, I love this guy. So all these yummy shades of like the terracottas and the peaches and there's something like fabulously 70s about this moment that I'm just absolutely loving. Now this guy, speaking of, if I was gonna wear it with a skirt, this is where I'd grab the other color in the Z Supply skirt. It would be such a fun combination. I find Suburban Riot also true to size, but again, a slightly more relaxed, not as much as the Let Love, but still a more relaxed shape. So you're gonna get some detail there. So 
let's talk a little bit about this great skirt option. So this maxi skirt, we haven't done maxi skirts in a while, right? They're kind of new, they're kind of fresh. This is gonna drive me nuts. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna knot it for you so you can see how I'd actually wear it. Knot, knot, no pressure, knotting with kind of like one hand while you guys are watching. Okay, there we go. Little knot there just to give it some shape. Okay, so easy peasy. Little tip here, I just loop it underneath so I don't have to worry about like tucking it or anything. Okay, so here's the other version of this skirt from Z Supply. Now, one of the reasons that I love these maxi skirts is they are so surprisingly versatile. They're easy to dress up, they're fun to dress down. Now, I've been showing you a really casual way to wear it, right, with a graphic tee. Now, this is in the gray, more like a cot true cotton base. And you guys, this is like throw and go, as easy as it gets kind of skirt. In the terracotta color, it is a gauze, which I think is really fun because you can just dress it up just a little bit, right? The gray is fun because the dark color, I think, allows you to dress it up, but there's something kind of unexpected about this color that's so fun, and dang, would that be cute with this graphic. So this is an easy, casual way to wear this skirt, right? So I'm thinking I throw this in my bag, I can pair this, like, throw on a little graphic tee, I can run to the market if maybe we're spending the weekend at the beach, um, or it's an easy travel look, to be honest, because it's not so hot but you still feel kind of put together, wear this to dinner. If I want to elevate it, I grab a more clean, simple tank. So my first inclination for a fun tank that I would just throw in my bag because I know I can wear it a million ways is this Chaser tank. Now this is a snap tank from Chaser. It's such a good one because again, I think you can go casual or dressed up. So a couple tips about this tank. Number one, I think it is a little bit more generous. So I tried this on in a small and I felt for me, even though I am a little bit bustier and I have broad shoulders, that it was really generous in the body. So for me, I'd size down one in this guy. It just felt better and not as sloppy, especially if I'm looking to dress it up a little bit. I have full tucked this guy. Now what's so fun about this is that little snap. Now here's my thought. Going casual, keep it snapped all the way. Kind of turning up the volume a little bit on a Friday night when you're on vacay and maybe you have a fun little like patio dinner out. I'd undo a snap. Yeah, yeah, I'd show a little bit. Why not? It's fun. It's like a really sassy way to do it. And again, paired back to the skirt, so darn cute. The great thing about this tank, it comes in four colors. So there's so many ways to do it. White, which PS is selling like hotcakes. Almost done, grab this guy. This yummy, yummy berry, which I think is so pretty. And you guys can see it's a little washed down, which I think makes it feel, I think, just a little softer, a little cooler. It's not that, like, bright, saturated, young pink. It's a much cooler pink. You got it. That marigold color that I'm obsessed with. I love it in this color, and I think it's so fun to kind of pair this back to even this gray. And then, of course, black, which... I think especially if you're looking for this guy to flex up or down when it comes to dressing up or dressing down, black is absolutely your way to go because it goes with everything, but also can kind of go a little bit more date night. I don't know about you, but whenever I think about date night, I'm always thinking about that little black top, right? Just a little black top you can just throw on. It's so easy. This totally fits the bill, but in that yummy ribbed cotton, it's also crazy, crazy comfortable. There's a couple other skirts that I just wanted to show because I think the Z Supply is so fun. It runs true to size, that smocked waistband. We have two other options that kind of do different things. So the very first is exclusively ours. This is Roan and Ryan. Now, the reason I love this is if you are a color lover, maybe you're taking a trip to the beach, you want something that feels a little bit more tropical and high summer, I think this really cool kind of abstracted tie-dye is such a fun way to go. Now, I know you're going to ask, can I wear this with a graphic because it's a print and is that too busy? Absolutely not. I think you absolutely can rock this with an easy little graphic. I would go with something pretty simple, either like I have my stuff on the floor. Like if you want to go bold, pair it back to something with color, or we've got a ton of great little gray with white words or white with black words kind of graphics that would be so cute back to this if you want like the skirt to do the talking. And then true high summer, how fun is this? This is new from Sanctuary. 
tiered white skirt. To me, this is the ultimate. I'm going to sneeze. I can feel it in my nose. If I sneeze, no, I always sneeze in threes. It's coming. We're going to work on this. Let's see if I can get through it. This skirt from Sanctuary, I think, is so fun because it feels like that just quintessential, chic, high summer, lovely piece. Now, I am seeing this skirt worn over your one-piece swimsuit, like throw it on with your sandals, have a casual lunch. I am seeing it with a graphic and making it feel really bohemian and fun. Maybe you're like going to the farmer's market in the morning. I mean, I'm making up a trip that we all want to take. Let's just go for it. And then I'm seeing it at night with either that white chaser tank or the black chaser tank for a fun, beautiful night out. And then I just pile on the gold jewelry and I'm good to go. So fun. I did find this guy ran true to size. It is definitely a full maxi length. So for me, just fit with a flat, but I actually loved it, loved it with a wedge just to add my, give myself just a little tiny bit of height there. So pretty, so fun, and it's white and it's not sheer. It's fully lined, so amazing in that way. So for many of us, when we think about these trips we're taking, especially if we're going early summer like right now, the weather can be a little bit unpredictable. And then I was actually thinking about this the other day. It was my sister-in-law's birthday, and she lives in San Francisco, and there's that phrase that says, like, I've never been as cold as I was in the summer I spent in San Francisco. So sometimes you go on a vacation, you're expecting amazing weather, and it just turns on you like a dime. So you need that easy layer. Denim jacket, of course, is the piece you need, the way to go, so easy. And I grabbed three of my absolute favorites. I'm going to start with the most classic, the piece you will have in your closet forever if you have not updated your quintessential, like, perfect denim jacket. This is the one for you. This is AG. We love this jacket. It's got a crazy amount of stretch. This has been one of our best selling denim jackets for years and years and years at Every Eve and for darn good reason. Number one, it is so crazy comfortable. True to size, it is a slightly shorter length. And I love that when I'm pairing it back to like a higher waisted skirt or even a white pair of jeans or a dress because it gives me an automatic waist. The stretch of it, of course, is incredible, so it's so comfortable. So if you're looking even for a piece to wear on travel day, this is a great one to throw on because you're not gonna feel constricted if you're reaching up or reaching down or grabbing kids or carrying bags, loading a car, or whatever you might be doing. This is an easy, easy piece. And then I think in this light kind of medium wash, it really goes back to just about anything so it's a fabulous one to wear one of my absolute favorites worth the investment because you will not believe how much match how much you wear this guy so so good all right two more options though so we talk a lot about like that denim jacket and i know i know a lot of you say like i already have a denim jacket i don't need another denim jacket here's the thing i think is fun is that getting something in a new wash or a slightly new silhouette can be so great. Now this is the Cut, this is the Kara. This has been one of my favorite denim jackets from Cut this whole season. And part of the reason I love this particular version of it is the amazing wash. If I can get this last button, unbutton, there we go. So what's so cool about this guy is this really, really like washed down version. So you get the highs and lows in the denim, which I think is so darn cute. This is like more of a fashion piece. You can see this is a little bit longer than that AG. So if you're looking for a light, slightly longer length, maybe you have a longer torso, or you just want something that, something that covers up kind of that upper hip, this is a great way to go. Same quality as that AG in terms of stretch. Lots and lots of movement here, so same rules apply. It's a great travel jacket or throw it on, of course, on any given night. And then, my last denim jacket that I love, 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 I've shown you this guy before, is from Level 99. Now the reason I think this one's so fun is because it has some great kind of fashion detail to it. This double pocket is super cool. I love this medium wash. There's something very kind of like original denim looking about this. It reminds me of like an old pair of super cool Levi's that you might love, love, love. Which denim jackets are good for long torso girls? That's such a good question. 
So having a long torso myself, I think actually that the level or the cut are really, really great. I think that AG, unless you are specifically looking for something that is absolutely going to hit you at your waist, I think that guy can be a little bit short if you have a long torso, again, unless you're looking for that shorter length. So long torso, I'd go cut or level. So here's the level. How fun is this? You've got this great little like double pocket detail, which I think is so cool. This is a darker wash of the three. Yep, same stretch, amazing, so, so comfortable. And then you get these great kind of brass copper details, which are so, so pretty. So you can kind of see, I think, of the three. To me, this one feels maybe the most casual. It feels almost like, I don't know, like a... Like I look at this and I look at the length and I look at the coverage and I think it's almost like a blazer kind of shape replacement, not in terms of dressed up, but just in terms of coverage. So when you're thinking about the different ways to go, this is maybe your most neutral, but also has this kind of fun fashion, unexpected spin to it. Your cut has that great high-low wash, so it kind of goes with everything. And then your AG is like that classic, classic, in your closet, work, work, workhorse that you'll wear over and over again. Hope that helps. Okay. All right. So you've got your great graphic tee, your fun maxi skirt that you're going to style a bunch of ways, and then you've got your layer, the denim jacket. Now, two more pieces that I think are essential, and then I've got two bonus pieces that I just I had to give a shout out for. The next is kind of in the same vein we were talking about with that denim jacket. You need a layer, and then sometimes you just need something a little bit warmer on those cooler nights. So that's where I go for my favorite, the short sleeve sweatshirt. It is the perfect piece to wear in summer when you want something a little bit weightier, but you don't want all the bulk and all the length of a full sweatshirt. So two versions, lies, three versions that I've got to show you. The first, you know, you love, gotta talk about it because it's so darn good, is that Michael Starr's Ariana Flutter Sleeve Sweatshirt. Did I get all those words in? All right, so why do we love it? Well, number one, Michael Stars, so you know the fabric is amazing. This is that same sweatshirt we had earlier this spring that sold out in a hot second. So this is your chance to get your mitts on one of these amazing colors because this sweatshirt is so darn cute. Absolutely love this guy. If you want to see what it looks like on, I'll pop it on for you in one of the colors. Maybe I'll pop on... We'll do the green just for fun, right? So it comes in four colors. You've got a great charcoal. You've got this yummy kind of army green. You've got this super saturated and fun magenta pink, which I love, love, love. And then this great kind of marble wash tie dye. Now I'm gonna show it untucked for just a second so you can get a feel for the fit. I like this guy, number one, because it's got a little bit more arm coverage, but if you're going somewhere a little bit warmer, this is more of a terry fabrication, so it's not heavy, heavy. It's more of a straight cut, so whenever I style this, I, I gotta do a half tuck, because I just like that it gives me a little bit more shape in my waist, but isn't too complicated, and this easy breezy sleeve is nice for those warmer, but still a little bit cool evenings. So. The other colors it comes in, you've got this gray charcoal gray, so neutral, so easy. This is the yummy marble tie-dye I was talking about. So many fun colors in this. And what I think is so fun about this guy too, is that it's really neutral and soft. So it doesn't like scream print and pattern. And then if you're just craving color right now, this fun pink is so fantastic to wear. Now, how are you gonna style this? Now I'm gonna tell you, I think if you are tall, so not me. I think if you are tall, as long-legged mamas, you can wear this sweatshirt back to this skirt. For me, I think 5'4 under, I think it's a lot of fabric and it's kind of eating me up. So I think it's a little bit too much and I probably wouldn't pair these two things back to each other, especially with all the volume in the sleeve. Now, if I did want to wear more of a short sleeve sweatshirt with my maxi skirt, I would go with something that has a little bit more of a simple silhouette. So the first thing I'm kind of thinking about that I'm grabbing is this chaser. It's like a hybrid sweatshirt t-shirt. Same idea as the Michael Stars. It's got yummy, yummy kind of loop back French terry fabrication. All that means is it's really breathable and really comfy. So darn cute. It comes in three colors, but here's how I would wear this with this skirt. 
So again, love this guy, but I think for petite with this skirt, it might be a lot. For someone like me, who doesn't have a lot of height to her advantage, I think I will go with something more simple like this guy from Chaser and I would style it off the shoulder, get a little bit of skin in there to help break up all that coverage. So half tuck and then I feel a little bit more balanced. So I love this sweatshirt because you can wear it off the shoulder or on the shoulder. So cute and so easy. So the gray, of course, so fun, kind of, I don't know, sporty, kind of reminds you of like your favorite old school gym sweatshirt, but then you've got this yummy, yummy coral, and then of course your quintessential black and white, which is so darn cute. Now, how do you style this guy? Well, I mean, aside from obviously the skirt, which is so darn cute, this is where that other piece you have to have comes in and it's your cutoff. I know. We've been talking about cutoffs like crazy, but I'm going to keep talking about them until I know that every single one of you has gotten your cutoff for the summer because number one, your summer body's ready because guess what? It's summer and it's your body. So let's get that summer body out there and get them into a pair of shorts. And we've got so many great options. It's not the cutoff of yesteryear where like you felt like you were a sausage squeezing into those shorts. There's so many wider leg openings, more comfortable, high rise, low rise. There's so many ways to go. And so I just keep trying on pairs until I find that Goldilocks fit for me. I'm going to start, of course, with the, the one that I actually think is the easiest for everyone to wear, and that is the Parker Long. So this is the A Goldie Parker. It is our favorite short out there for darn good reason. It comes in two lengths. The one I'm talking about right now, though, is that longer length. And I like this because it gives you a little bit of coverage on your legs, slightly longer inseam, same body on the top so that higher rise to hold you in but also that relaxed leg opening and to me that is the make or break of a cutoff if it is tight in my leg i am out and i don't know about you guys it just feels crummy and hot and uncomfortable so i love the parker for that reason is that they figured out how to make it look vintage and cool and lived in but still crazy flattering so you've got that great light blue as well as a white and yes the white is so flattering and fun. I say when you're packing for a trip, if you can only bring one short, don't feel tied to the blue. I think a white short can be a really nice option. And with all the graphics and things we were looking at, they work with just about everything. If you're looking for a slightly shorter short, then of course you can go with the Parker short. So we've got the longer length and then we've got the shorter length. Two different washes that I just grabbed to show the swap meet, and then this is a swap meet dark. So you got that lighter wash. I think this is the one that I just see on kind of everybody when they're looking for, this is that home run when you're just like digging, 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 looking for a great short. This great kind of vintage wash is such a fun one to wear. But if you're looking for something a little bit darker, and I would say the dark is really flattering, especially on your backside. I love this swap meet dark wash. I think it's so fun. And there's just a little bit less destruction on the dark than the light. So if you're looking for something that's just a touch cleaner when it comes to the finishing, this is the way to go. Now, there are a couple other new silhouettes we've just gotten in. And the one that I wanted to talk about is the Hudson Gemma. So we've actually had this silhouette before. One of the reasons I really like the Gemma is because it has some really nice stretch in it. Now it's going to be similar in seam to your Parker short, but it has great stretch. So you've got this yummy blue as well as the black. It is not quite as high of a rise as the Parker. So if you're looking for something that's more of a mid, this is a really lovely short to wear. Open leg, but you can also see just from the cut how it kind of curves up, which is really flattering on your thigh. So if you've got those great gams, you just are more petite, you want to get more leg in there, or you just like a shorter short because it is hot as heck wherever you are or wherever you're going, the Gemma is a home run short, one of my favorites from Hudson and a kind of a perennial bestseller. Gotta have it. Okay. Two bonus pieces that I always pack when I'm going on a trip. I need a fabulous, fabulous dress that can go all the places, all the ways, and then one full length pant. So I took the guesswork out for you. 
We're gonna do the easiest dress there is out there. Yep, you got it, the Michael Stars Ultra Rib Dress. I gotta hear it from my girls out here who owns this dress, who loves this dress, and who can help support the fact that this is the everybody, everybody dress. It truly is so flattering on so many body types. You do not have to believe me. Go online, check out the reviews, watch my stories when I styled it three ways. This is such an easy, easy dress to wear and we keep making it better. What I love about it this round, two things. Number one is the rib fabrication. So you know the Maya tank, you know the boat neck, similar fabrication. So a rib that just grazes your body and feels really good, hugs but doesn't, mm, not tight. Number two, full back. So no more worrying about whether or not you're wearing a racer back or you've got the right bra on or your bra straps are showing. Wear your normal bra with this puppy. It is so fantastic and so comfortable. And kind of the bonus is that side slit to show off those legs. I wear this to baseball games. I wear it to dinner. I wear it for travel. I wear it for work with a jacket over. You cannot go wrong with this dress. And P.S. It's a knit. So you throw it up, throw it, roll it up, throw it into your suitcase and it's one of the best dresses you can ever pack. I promise you will not regret this purchase. It's a favorite and you'll love it. So if you're looking for that perfect dress to pack, this is the one. And then that full length bottom, this is where I grab a white jean in the summer. In the winter, I'm always looking for my blues, but in the summer, I want a great white jean. And I just tried this jean on yesterday and I have to tell you why it's so fantastic. This is the Tony from A. Goldie. So if you love your skinny, but you're just starting to try out straights, this is the skinny straight like baby. It is a nice slim straight. So an easy, easy one to wear if you're just toying into that straight silhouette. I also love it. It's an ankle length, but a longer ankle length. So for those of you who have long legs, you're not gonna feel like you're wearing a hyper, hyper crop. It's clean, so you can dress it up. It doesn't have a frayed bottom to it, no destruction. So dress it up, dress it down, easy, easy to wear, and it has a ton, a ton, a ton of stretch. I went up a size in this jean like I always do when I put on white denim. And let me tell you, I didn't even bother to try my true size. I just grabbed a size up, put it on, it felt like a million bucks, done. So easy, so fun. Now, last but not least, accessories. I don't know about you guys, but this is where, <coughs> excuse me, this is where I start to like over rev on my packing. One pair, two pair, three pair, four pair, five pairs of shoes, and suddenly my bag weighs a thousand pounds and I'm wondering why it's so hard to carry down the stairs. So, I'm gonna make it simple. You need to pack a fabulous slide that does all the things. So, you know what I'm gonna talk about? I'm gonna talk about the Lester because it's that versatile, it's that easy, and it's that fun to wear. And P.S., it's $40. $4-0. You heard me right. $4-0. So it's such a good deal. So here's the thing about the shoe. Number one, crazy flexible. Number two, it comes in a multitude of colors. I'm showing you the gold. I've got the black on my Tootsies. It also comes in this really fun neutral. It also comes in this super cute loose sight clear and then it comes in and these are going fast this great little animal print now the reason i love this shoe is because it is one of those dress up dress down so if you're thinking about the maxi skirt want to dress it up wear it with this the dress wear it with this the white jean wear it with this but it looks equally great with a cutoff casual just as you're like running around shoe so i throw a pair of these into my bag i just think about what the kind of neutral is that I want to rock. If I'm thinking I'm going to dress it up a little bit more, that's probably where I would gravitate more towards the gold or that neutral or maybe even the clear just so that it disappears on my foot. And I pack this guy. Then I think about my casual shoe and I grab my Freedom Moses. So this is my like heavy shoe replacement. I want the shoe that I can wear to the beach. I want the shoe that I can just run around in. Super casual, super easy a fun travel shoe that I can just kind of beat up but is super crazy comfy. That's where Freedom Moses comes in. I love this little black and white paint splatter. I also just have to say one of the things that's great about this shoe is that it's really flattering on the foot. So 
It's not as wide, I think, as some of the slides that are out there right now this summer. So an easy one to throw on. And then, of course, if you get it dirty as heck during your trip, throw it on the top rack of your dishwasher and it cleans up like a dream. So really fun one and also a really great price. And then last but not least, I think about accessories. So I threw these on intentionally because I wanted you to see how fun it is to mix and match. These are actually three separate sets that I put on together, silver, gold, and then this neutral combination. Wear them all together as a fun little stack combination and kind of mix them up or break them apart and just wear two at a time or three at a time. But with the stretch and ease, this is just bracelets that I throw on my bag and I know that I can wear them any which way. I also grab a fun layered statement necklace. This is one of my current favorites. Let's see if I can show you guys. I love this because it does all the layering work for you. So pretty and so fun. Adds a little something to an open neckline or that great dress. And then I think about some fun other pieces, maybe a more simple gold bracelet. I don't know if you've seen this guy. I wear this a lot. The reason I really like it is because it's easy to put on myself. So it's got that great little adjustable strap. And then it shows up like a double bracelet. And then I've been obsessing over anklets. This is a really fun one. And if you're showing off your legs in that cutoff or in your dress, this is an easy one to wear. Just a little bit of glint. And I think dresses up those slides a little bit more. And then last but not least, I just grab an earring pack. So this earring pack is the Celeste. I'm wearing the simple gold hoop. It also comes with this great little shine stud. And then last but not least are those fun little kind of dagger hoops for something a little edgy. So three earrings, kind of do all the things, easy to mix and match with all your jewelry, and you're set to go. Okay, we did it. We packed our bag for our summer getaway. We are going somewhere this summer. And I've got all the things you need to put into your suitcase. Should we run down one more time? Short sleeve sweatshirt, great cutoff, graphic tee, a denim jacket, a maxi skirt, an easy knit dress, a pair of white denim, a slide or two, and then some fun gold jewelry, and you're done and set to go. I hope everyone is planning something this summer, a fun little getaway wherever it might be, and we've got all the things that'll make packing that much easier. Thanks so much, everyone. So fun to have you here, and we will see you soon. Take care.